my name is Judy Wairimo. I'm 28 years old. I'm a mother of three daughters. And this is me. This is two weeks after the treatment, the whole treatment. Yeah. Wairimo's journey may seem rosy now, but it's after a painful struggle. I just got on my baby. That fluid didn't stop. Just became abnormal. Every day I would change pads. Like I would use a whole packet, even two in a day. So I went to different hospitals. They didn't show anything. I was just treated for different things until now I reached a place. Now the one I was telling you bus started coming out. That's when I went to a big hospital. And that's where I was diagnosed with cancer. This was her condition a year ago. When Judy came to Faraza, I think uh, at that time she was on her, on the brim of losing hope. I didn't have the strength to, uh, to write. I wasn't thinking straight. I was so stressed that I couldn't lift, pick a call. She's so lively. You sit with her and she tells you she's a survivor and you get shocked. And we would pray with my mom. People would come and bring fellowship. They would pray. And I had hope and God's grace was enough. But you still went for treatment? Yeah, I still went for treatment. Yeah, you still have to do it. At a photo exhibition organized by Faraja Cancer Trust at the Michael Joseph Center, we meet Aditya Shah, one out of the six volunteer photographers who captured the story by following a few cancer patients and survivors for a week to document their stories to create awareness among the public. Aditya's mother lost her life to cancer. So with Robert, where I followed him for some time, um, and these are some of the pictures we took. Uh, this is one where he's getting his radiotherapy. The thing that stood out for me is his, he's, he's a very happy guy, he's very positive, he's always cracking jokes um, with his family as well. According to him, every cancer patient has a different story to tell. What's important is just to understand what the person's going through um, from physical changes, either hair loss uh, to the nails darkening. You know, with women, obviously, with, uh, with mastectomies, um, there's that aspect of it culturally, socially, how to, you know, support them, show you understand. Um, and the most important thing for them is really just to be positive, to be strong. Um, and they can only be strong if they have that support from you. Faraja Trust Centre offers free treatment and support for needy cancer patients. People know that cancer is a death sentence. Even when you tell someone, you know, nearly you come go to cancer, if you take it, as you know, you will die. But if you decide to fight it, I shall definitely go away. So you have to go for regular checkups. Violet Otindoke 24, Weekend Edition.